Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my April update to the Pan Our Way to 5K challenge that I'm trying to do, where I'm trying to use up $5,000 worth of makeup, skincare, and hair care during this year. There is a group of us who are trying to do it all together, and I do have them all listed down below in the description box. If you want to do this, please feel free to join along. It is open to anybody who wants to do it. So in order to do $5,000 worth of empties in a year, we need to use up an average of $417 a month. So I'm gonna jump right on in, start off with all the skincare empties, and uh, then we'll move over into the makeup. I should say skincare and hair care, because I do have a couple of hair care empties. So we'll start off with those. The first one is this Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo, little sample size. I did really enjoy this. I don't know that I'd buy a full size. I tend to use the Not Your Mother's shampoo conditioner. Uh, this one is just, it was okay. I just don't think I need a full size of this. And then I also got a sample of the Biolage All-in-One Shampoo Scrub. So this was a shampoo and a scrub all combined in one. The shampoo had the most amazing lather on this and I really enjoyed the scent. As far as the scrub goes, if you want a very delicate scrub, this would be it for you. There were so few scrubbing particles in here. I'm used to using the Not Your Mother's Bamboo Charcoal Scrub and it has a ton of scrubbing particles in there. I would say for every one particle there is in here, there's probably 20 in the Not Your Mother's, if that tells you how few particles are in here. So it did a very light job, light job scrubbing my scalp. I prefer the Not Your Mother's one, so I wouldn't repurchase this either. I do have one bath care empty, and this is the Olivia Care Bath Salt in Jasmine Gardenia. I was able to finish these up. Bath salts are not my favorite. I am not big on taking baths. This had such a strong, just perfume scent, it smells like potpourri. So I would not repurchase this. This was actually gifted to me. I'm happy that I finally found a way to use it up. I would sprinkle it in my shower and then just use it to massage my feet and just get some of the aromas from the bath salts in the shower. And I just used them up that way because like I said, I'm just not a bath person. I have a couple of masks. This is the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. This one is completely used up. This was very nourishing, very hydrating. I do love the scent of it. It's, it's very blueberry berry <laughs> scented. So I did like this one. I don't know that I would repurchase this. I don't feel like I need a lot of these types of masks where I leave them on my skin for a long period of time. I just prefer a nice thicker moisturizer at night and then I do moisturize my face every morning and I feel like that's enough for my skin. So I'm just trying to use through these and move them out of my collection. Falling into that category is this Generation Clay Charcoal De Detox Clay Mask. Uh, I don't need clay masks in my collection either. I use this up. It was okay. Again, not a step that I need. Just as an aside, I forgot to mention, all of these products will be listed down below in case you're wondering what the name is, scent is, shade, whatever. It is all in my description box. I do try to list all of my empties down there. So I'm happy that this one is out of there. I do have two perfume empties, both from Atelier Cologne. This one is Love Osmanthus and this is Cedar Atlas. This Love Osmanthus is a very light citrus scent. It doesn't stay around for very long. So if you're preferring that type of scent that is more just kind of slightly there, this may be for you. And this one does smell just like cedar. It is a really nice unisex scent. I don't know that I would buy a full size of this one, but I did really enjoy wearing it while I had this. I have a empty. This is my Pharmacy Sweet Apple Green Clean. It's a Pharmacy Green Clean. Love this apple one. Smells just like a Jolly Rancher. I love this. I did repurchase this one I don't know, around the holiday time, I did get another one of these because I love the scent so much. This is lovely. This is my favorite uh, makeup melt away balm. I will always repurchase these. I did have two lotions. The first one is the Body Shop. This is their Shea Nourishing Body Butter. This one is completely gone. I did enjoy the scent of this one. I'm happy I was able to use this up during the colder months because this is definitely a winter moisturizer rather than a summer one. And this other one is just a little sample, the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Got a couple uses out of here and this is gone. I wouldn't repurchase a full size. It was an okay lotion, but I prefer my hemp's over this one. Moving on over to facial skincare, I have the 
Drunk Elephant Sea Firm Day Serum. I finished this one up. I would never repurchase this. I told you in the video that this one was in, in the project. It smells like hot dog water. So that's all I could think about every time I put this on my face and it's just gross. So there's no way I would repurchase this. I'm so happy this is out of my collection. No thank you. And then the final one is the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. It was just a little sample. I completely used this up. I absolutely love this. It smells like lime jello. I love the texture of it. I love the way it sank into my skin. I would repurchase a full size of this. So I believe that is all of my hair care, skin care. That is 12 items of which half of them are not cruelty free. So I'm pretty happy about that. And the total for skin and hair care is $264.89. So that was quite a big chunk of change there. So now let's move over into the makeup items. First one, I did finish up a pair of lashes. This is the Iconics from House of Lashes. I am so sad that these, uh, that I've gone through these already. I did wear them for over a solid month, so I got tons of use on them, but the band started to come apart, so I had to say goodbye to them. This is my favorite style of lashes. I will always repurchase these. These are beautiful. I finished off an Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this setting spray. I will always repurchase. I do have a couple more in my collection already, but I'm happy that I have another one out. This was one I had that I thought was full and come to find out it was about down to here, so I just finished it off. So that is my second full-size one that I have finished off this year. Next was a disappointing product. This is the iconic London Brow Cushion. I put this into Child of the 80s for a 21 use goal and I had used this 10 times in another project and it is completely dry. I can put my finger in here and squish it down. There is nothing there. So it's really disappointing. This is worth $40 and I didn't even get 40 uses on it. Now I know with cushion products, like I've seen people use um, cushion mask, uh, cushion mascaras. Oh my goodness. No, cushion foundations. <laughs> People say that they take this out and flip it over. I did that and the back of this cushion is white. There is a little bit of the brown product that has gone all the way to the other side, but it is not. it does not have enough product on here to even fully soak the cushion that it is on. So $40, not even 40 uses. I was so disappointed that uh, I went through that so quickly. It was a nice product, but it just did not last. Next was the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Finishing Powder. It's just a little sample, but I completely finished this one up. I have finished another sample of this last year and I bought a full size, so I do have a full size. I would replace this or purchase it again once I am finished with my full size. I do really like this as a setting powder. I finished the It Superhero Mascara. I did not like how dry and clumpy this is. I'm happy this one's gone, and of course I have one more that I have to get through. I will eventually work my way through that, but I do not like this mascara. It's not my favorite. I have a couple of eyeliners. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade Zero. Right here, a little black one. Oh, I, I can get a little bit out, but that just scratches my eye. Beautiful, solid black color. I love the formula of these Urban Decay eyeliners and I would repurchase this. I just have to get through some more first. And then I have a Too Faced, Too Faced, <laughs> Better Than Sex, Easy Glide, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This one is dried up. As you can see, some of these bristles are over right here, which I did show in a video and Anne Sophie told me, she's like, if you have cuticle nippers, why don't you just cut those off? I didn't even think of it, but as you can see, it is very dry. I cannot even get a full line. I cannot get a full wing on my eyeliner. So I think that's part of the reason why the bristles are fraying like that is because there's just not a, enough product in here to keep that tip moisturized or you know full of liquid all the way to the end to keep all those bristles together. So this one isn't empty. I did really like it though. And then I uh, have a primer empty. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I completely finished this one off, so I'm happy that this is done, completely gone. And then the final two products are lip products. First one is my Jouer Lip Enhancer. I did cut this one open. I think there are other lip products that do the same thing for cheaper, so I'm not gonna repurchase this one. I did enjoy wearing it while I had it, but I'm not gonna repurchase that. And then this is the Trestique lipstick. 
twisted all the way up. I did completely finish this off. I did mostly use it as a cream blush. I did wear it on my lips a couple times. It did have a primer in here and I finished off the primer as well. So that is gone and is completely an empty as well. I don't know that I'd purchase these. I prefer the regular bullet shape. This one was, hopefully you can see, it's a weird rectangular, rectangular shape. So not my favorite bullet form. So I, I'm not gonna repurchase these. So those are all of my makeup empties. I have finished 10 makeup items. None of them are not cruelty free and the value is $207.53. So adding everything together, my total is $472.42 for the month of March, which is above the 417 that I need. So let's take a look at how far I'm doing. This is the end of the first quarter. Adding all the makeup together for January, February, March, I'm at $562.66. Adding all the skincare and hair care together, I'm at $918.15 for a grand total of $1,480.81. So I am doing really well. I'm quite surprised that I'm doing as well as I am. I thought it would be... I would be way further behind than I am, but the empties just keep coming. I'm finishing up products and I'm really happy. Obviously, several of the products that I'm working on are, you know, little samples, and I do tend to go through these pretty quickly. So once I'm through some of these little samples, it's going to be harder for me to get empties because they will be full-size products. So that is my whole update. I'm pretty excited about where I stand. I hope that I can keep this momentum up through the second quarter to keep going and if I can do this then I think I can hit my $5,000 goal by the end of the year if here's hoping <laughs> that it keeps going this is the beginning of April and I already have several products that are really close to being done so I'm hoping that April will be another good month be sure to go down into my description box and check out everybody else who's doing this and cheer them on and like I said if you want to join us please feel free to do so and before you go, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.